70% of our kids from 18 to 21 is trying to survive. More of them got a gun in their hand than a book. Everyone is talking about taxes. Everyone is talking about corona. Well, what have they, anybody said something about the kids? So why should they vote? You really want my vote? You haven't even acknowledged me? <laughs> you know, do I matter? Anything you want to do, you can do here. You want to get up and go kill somebody, you can. You want to get up and go make a million dollars, you can. If you want to get up and go pollute the neighborhood with drugs, you can. I seen that 12-year-old on the corner the other day selling drugs during homeschool time. Last year he would have been in school, right? But this year it's homeschool. He don't want to be in the house with his parents. He don't want to be around his surroundings. Now he's out in the corner. Twenty dollars on four bags of weed is a gold mine here. If you look up all the middle schools and look at their ratings, some of these schools' the stars are one, my man. Yeah. One out of five. Who the fuck is y'all hiring? We don't have the same choices and opportunities that's given around the world to everybody else. We don't have these same choices here in North Philly. I'm a single mother and I have to work two jobs to pay a $700 rent and spend no time with my kids just to make bare minimum. Our ancestors fought for this, so like it's only right that we go out and vote. I vote because the man stood for the vote. The harm was done to the man. It gave me an opportunity to vote. Then y'all see what Trump just did to us? I'm ready to get him out of here. Your vote is, is, is your voice. And you're saying that you need something, that you want something. When you vote, you should have a sense of pride thinking this is the beginning for my change, you know? And even if things doesn't change overnight, it's not a personal change, not personal growth, you know? It changes as a whole, you gotta do your part. You just don't vote, sit down, go watch, go back on Twitter and think it's all over with. No, you do your part, you get out of the community. You make people aware, because nobody's gonna do it for us. And we have to push the other people that's making the laws to, to help us out, but we have to start. And if we show them that we care about our kids and their future, then they ain't got no other choice. But as long as we don't care, they throw them in the jails and giving them guns and labeling them felons at 18 and 19, it's not giving them no direction. This is why I want to run for city council, so I can be one of those voices five, ten years from now when it matters. And like, look, y'all have to help us. My dream is to be everything that I'm not supposed to be. Our life is planned for us pretty much in Philly. When you grow up in a certain neighborhood, you're born into a poverty-stricken family, and alcoholics, drug addicts, drug dealers, nobody really got a college education. Not having that structure as a child puts something inside of me that I can't settle. Whether who the president is, I'm buying my home in February. No matter who the president is, I'm gonna run for city council in four years. No matter who the president is, I'm gonna have my degree in a year and a half. So, and that's the way you gotta have it, no matter what. You know, you gotta know your your goal. If you don't have a goal, you're not gonna care about the goal of America or a goal of all of us as a whole because you don't have a set goal for your life. So young people just know what you want out of life. And it's not rap, it's not drug dealing. <laughs> it's wealth, it's knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And when you have that about voting, you'll see how important it is. Tanisha Sweetie Jacobs, 09 to the 16th Street. And I tell people all the time that you gotta know where you come from, know where you go. Thank you.